I want to show you guys a mistake that I made. I was getting ready to make my penny coaster, and what I did was put the pennies down first. So it was looked like this. I put the pennies down first, and then I poured the resin with some sprinkles on it, on top of it. And what happened was that I had so many bubbles that I kept putting the torch to it. And the reason I had so many bubbles is that you can see on some of the pennies here, right there, the resin was trying to work its way underneath the penny. So the trick is to put some resin in first and then take a wooden skewer. Let me grab that. Take a wooden skewer like this and kind of put the pennies where you want them. Otherwise, you're going to have constant bubbles. And when you keep heating it up, this is the top, so it went like that. If you keep heating it up, it turns out cloudy. And this side turned out a little better. But that's the underside, and that's not the look I was going for. So put your resin in first, and then shove your pennies on top. Hi, everybody. Joe Patty here, and welcome to the art table. And today, I'm going to make a penny coaster. I've made countertops and bar tops out of pennies with resin and I've made little side tables with pennies and resin but I've never made a coaster so I thought I'd try that today okay I've got two ounces of the resin here I have these cups that I use for measuring so that way I get it just right these little cups here and then I'm going to start off by just making one just one little penny coaster now I learned from trial and error that I showed you already about the uh, the pennies and the resin from last time. So now I'm just going to get started with putting the resin in first. So I'm going to put in about one ounce of this. I'm going to mix it around, get it on the bottom there real good. Drop some pennies. I'm just going to move them around and just put them wherever. No special order or design, just kind of random. I'm going to take my skewer, I'm going to push it down in there a little bit. I can move them around where I want them. Some are upside down, and some are just wherever. And I'm going to pour the rest on top, nice and slow. Actually, I think I'm going to just do it with this little stick here so I don't shift the pennies around too much. If I go pouring it in there, also it creates more bubbles. I'm going to just do it like this because I might want not, not want to use it all anyway. I actually meant to do it a little differently. I was going to put the pennies face down so I can use the underside as the top. Okay, and I have some left over here. I don't want to use a full two ounces. So I'm just going to put some on this side and that's going to be like the bottom of another project that I have planned. I'm just going to let that spread out. Take a torch to it, get some bubbles, y'all. And move quickly and lightly. I prefer the heat to be from a distance. All right, guys, let's let that sit before we unmold. All right, it's been about 12 hours. And I'm going to take these out now. It's still soft. This is the thin one. It's not cured yet. These aren't cured yet, but I do want to tell you what I did with this. Off camera, I um, ended up using a stick and one of these little tweezer things, and I moved the pennies and flipped them over. So they're all facing up on the backside. 
There we go. Ooh, it turned out nice. Nice and hard, not bendable, but I don't think it's quite cured yet. You need to wait a little longer before we can use it. And then I want to uh, put a coffee mug on it after 72 hours after it cures and see if this new resin that I'm using works. And if it does, I'll put it in the link below. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everyone.